one of the last projects that we have to do inside the bus. The end project in the end of the bus. <laughs> yeah, it is too. Is um, we wanted to put our shelf back here, and I've been putting it off because measuring, like, because we need to, we do have to do one of these interface to the ceiling nonsense things again, which is just awful. So, uh, but we have to do a bunch of measuring first to get uh, to uh, get the first pieces to cut. As usual, we're winging the whole thing. Three inches is where it needs to go. It's a big shelf, big, big, big closet. Deep. Deep closet. Hold it nice and tight. What? What? Oh, it is 87 exactly. 87 by 23. So let's uh, go make something. That's 87 by 23. That'll be fun. Huh? Is that worked? <laughs> like these glasses. Okay. Uh, I got new glasses, all right, and I know they make me look very sexy, but they make everything in the world kind of go all the time. Ooh. Okay, I know the glasses aren't making this thing wonky. This is just wonky. Oh, this one's straight, I think. You see my blue T-square lately? Speed square? I think this is it right here. Super Panda! That was amazing. <laughs> pray that's 23 inches because that's what we made it 23 exactly Woo! that's cause for celebration 22 and a half what the... <laughs> why are you crying so much what's wrong with you yeah. mama did timmy fall into well <laughs> the next thing we have to do is mount a 23 inch piece of plywood on here strangely enough 23 by 87 shocking i know the whole time. Again? Yeah. This thing just finesses the screw in. Like I can just like that. Right? It's like super groovy. Totally different than the other experience. So if I had to do this again, I would have gone to Walt, I admit it. Walt just makes a superior product. You bought them right at the end of the build. What kind of sense does that make? Hey, you know what that sense that makes? It means it's coming with us so I can help you build your bus. Did I give it away? That's all of you. Yeah, that's not right. Not me. <laughs> See how well it fits in place. It's a beast. I mean, another heavy. That's it, we're overweight on the bus. Ask anybody. <laughs> this rig can take it. All right. I don't exactly know how to get it. I think we can. No, keep your edge down and come in. Go across. Go over there. I'm trying to, but I can't see oh, where to stand. I don't have any strength left. Oh. Okay. Get that. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Set your side down.
Oh my god, it looks so cool! Sorry, I didn't mean to freak you out there. That's okay. <laughs> Buff. It looks awesome just like that. Like it makes me want to just leave it open. I know, huh? God, I don't know. I'm kind of with you on that. Except it has to have a back piece. That is pretty cool what we did there. I know, I'm loving I like it. that. Okay. Can't believe that worked. <laughs> um, maybe you should go get the guitar. Sure. So we can see how well it fits. So we know what to do. Yeah, measure. you can measure it. Measure to here. I didn't even think about that, about that end being too wide. Yeah, me either. That was lucky, a lucky fit. Okay. Tw zero is 12 and 11 sixteenths. Two inches is 14. Okay. 18 and 15 sixteenths. So you're just using your speed square to make a vertical line every two inches, right? Yeah, and then I'm lining up the square with that line so it's straight at the ceiling. It's like 13 and 7 eighths. 15 and 7 sixteenths. 16 and 5 eighths. 20 and 9 sixteenths. I think that's it. Now, let's see, from this to here to here is... 20 inches, so we gotta cut two 20s. Here's where we transfer our measurements onto the face. 12 and 11. Wait, we're doing the. Which side, passenger side or driver's side? I guess we can just do passenger side. They're both okay. 20 inch in measurements, so. Okay. Uh, what's the first one? 12 and 11 sixteenths. Okay. Oh, I gotta make my marks. Every two inches again. Next. 15 and 7 eighths. I mean, 7 sixteenths. Whoa. Sorry. There's a slight difference there. Yeah. <laughs> 18 and 7 eighths. Okay. And 20 is. Oh, do you need yeah, 20? Yeah, 20, I do. 20 is 20 and 9 sixteenths. But we need to curve and trace. get this curve going again. Want me to trace it? Yeah. I don't know if I can do this though. Okay, from yeah. Yeah, to middle. Stop. Redraw that line. Just between those two dots. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we gotta do a cut on here. Well, <laughs> moment of truth. We still have to cut a door in this. I'm hoping this is gonna be like the best one ever. <laughs> Me too. That's it. That's pretty good. It is pretty good, Looks I have to admit. Pretty good. Pretty good. She doesn't need much room for a door. I know, I was thinking that too. Yeah, roughly right there. It's gonna work? I think so. Oh, look, you have a helper. You wanna mark that for me, huh, kiddo? What are you doing? Uh, oh, she rubs you. She does rub she me. She rubs you so much. What are you doing, huh? You're a good kid. You're a good kitty. Alright, you better run along because there's going to be saws. Stop. Okay. 
You have the patience of a Zen master. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I definitely don't. That's true, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! All right. So, that is our left thing. Passenger side. I don't think I have it in me to do the right one. I think you're losing daylight. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's call it. Good. Good job, everybody. See you tomorrow. Take the rest of the day off. See you. <laughs> maybe get here a little early tomorrow. Nine o'clock, maybe. <laughs>Do a measurement real fast inside. Another day, another cupboard. Should work. This is a pretty good square we made. Yeah, easy peasy. All right, we'll go with it. That was way easier than a whole bunch of measuring. It really was. <laughs> <laughs> Have to admit, I like your idea better. <laughs> Thanks, baby. You're welcome. Anytime. Mm -hmm. I'm lazy, so I use shortcuts often in my life. I'm lazy like that myself. <laughs>
It's perfect for blankets and pillows and stuff, and then whatever you want over there in yours. Yeah. Okay, we need a tape measure. We get the red tape you can tape measure for me? Your red stapler? Red stapler? Because we're down to like just enough wood. Right. So if I make a mistake on these cuts, then we will not. We can't fix it. <laughs> yeah, we're done. We don't want to have to buy another $55 sheet of plywood for one little piece. I don't. So measure twice. All right, let's go see how well this fits. You want to bring them both? Might as well. well we might have to do some trimming. Oh. Because I couldn't measure the back. Right. You so, don't know how that back wall that is. That back area is structural. How do those pieces fit? Yeah. Um, quite nice. Yeah. That one looks perfect. Oh my gosh. Right into place. Perfect. Dude, that is sweet. This is the straightest area of this whole bus. It has been so far. It's the most, <laughs> everything you've done is perfectly square on this shelf. It's, it's crazy. Totally with you on that. So we need some pocket holes on this one. And this one. She wasn't here to with all these design specs and, and feature requests and stuff like that. I just futon mattress, some bottled water. That is such bull honky. For our Xbox and a... It's baloney. I was the person who was in for like more of a simple build. <laughs> this is Mr. Complexity over here. <laughs> Whatever. This is kind of a weird angle to work at. Yeah, a little bit strange through a small opening too. Yeah, like you're going in and then back. Yeah. I can't see it. Boom. Now that's held, we can just use this and finish it. Gosh, that turned out really good. I know. This is coming together like so it seems almost effortlessly. I mean I yeah, I thought this was going to be a lot harder. Yeah, like to it do. seemed like it was going to be complicated and a real pain in the butt. I think that's part of the reason why you put it off for so long. Yeah, it is. I'm so glad you went with enclosing these ends instead of just leaving the whole thing open. Yeah, I am too. And there it is. Perfect. Okay, last one. Way better than I thought it would turn out. Yeah. And it just came together pretty simply. Yeah. Maybe it's just because you're so experienced by the end of this build. That's that's some of it. I would definitely give credit to that. Okay. How's that look? It looks outstanding. Looks... Now we just need that cross piece right there. And some doors. The first measurement is going to be at 11 and 11 sixteenths. And it's going to be exactly 19 inches. Middle measurement, 19 and a half. 19 and 1 16th. Last measurement, 17 and 5 eighths, which I think was the first measurement on the other side, right? Yep. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, so uh, first measurement. First measurement is 17 and 5 eighths. First measurement. That's second measurement, 19. Middle? 19 and a half. 19 and 1 16th. Oh, I'm just going to call it 19. Okay. Okay, and then the last measurement over here. 17 and 5 eighths. Okay, so we're going to try to recreate this curve with just five measurements marked. I think we can do it. Usually we do every two inches, and this time is like great expanses. Yeah. So we got here, we need to, we need to hit our marks there. So I want you to do the center mark, come on this side. Let me just do center mark and do this side first. Okay, so this go is ahead. really good from 
center. No, oh, look at your mark. Sorry, sorry. Push, push it in the corner. Remember to go on the top line over here. And we stain it. Yeah. Okay. Big test. So. How far is it off? The sixteenth of an inch over here. Go put this in. Try it again. I'm gonna be careful because I won't be able to get this out. Take three. That's it. Discotech in there. That works pretty good. Okay. Come on. Come here. You want to see? You want to see what we're doing? Come on. You can come up here and see, I guess. Here you go. Here you go. Cool place for you to hang out if you want to. When the pillows are up there, obviously, it would be amazing. Oh, look. And the little like, hiding spots for you and stuff. When things get just a little too tough for you, you can go in there, I guess. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at it. It looks really good. That's your perfect shit too. Wow. Crazy. Yay! Something fit just right. Except, remember I talked about that edge? So, um, we'll put a piece of trim there. It's fine. Yeah, well, that's what we're gonna do. Me paint them like this, open and in pieces like this. Yeah. Now you've done it. You painted our oh, work table. You know table. what? I meant to do the edges too. 
Well, you still have to, whether you meant to or not. <laughs> he is stupid. Let me just remind you whose idea it was it to do any painting in this bus. It's harder than I thought it was going to be. Look how pretty that is. Aw, so nice. Really, really nice. God, these turned out so good. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Mother Mary, come to me. Whispers, words of wisdom. Speaking words of wisdom. That's what I said. Speaking words of wisdom. Let me pee. Dude, what the hell is up with that stain? That is not the same color of stain. It's cherry. You shook it up, didn't you? You shook it up. I saw you shake it up. Oh, I hate it. What a bummer. I wanted it to be really light, like all the rest of the wood in here. Should I not stain back there? Well, now you have to. You can't leave part stained and part not stained. Like, I just, I can't believe how disappointed I am, how unhappy I am with it. Like, I don't like it at all. I'm kind of sad. That stain is going on way too dark. Wow. I had no idea that staining would give us such trouble, but it's because we've never done it before and we were inexperienced and we didn't know that when we first started staining, we hadn't even shaken it up good enough and the color pigment wasn't even mixed in with the stain. So we were getting this really nice light color on the wood. And then as we continued and kept using the can of stain and it got closer and closer to the bottom, any slight shaking of it at all just made it turn out super dark like this. So this is like, this is our second can. We bought a new can so we could achieve the same light color, but it failed. And now we have this one completely dark cabinet where all the rest of our wood is light. And that's just the way it goes on a build like this. Like you just, you can't make it perfect no matter how hard you try. You can't make it be flawless. So, we can't rip it back out and start over again. And the rest of the wood has already been, um, had wipe on poly put over it. So we can't restain the rest of the wood to match this darker color. Now we're stuck with a lighter color wood and a darker color wood. And I don't like it to be completely honest. And it might sound like I mean a big whiny baby to you, but I'm just being honest. I don't like it. It's not what I wanted and I'm disappointed, but you just roll with it. You just got to go on and this is going to be our house and you just got to learn to live with it. This is what it's like when you build something yourself with your own two hands. It comes out imperfect. So be prepared in your build for things to not be perfect. Yeah. That doesn't look like this. It doesn't match saying. anymore. Yeah. It looks like two different things that we... I warned you about the stain a long time ago. <sighs> I warned you about the stain. There's our two-toned bedroom. <laughs> Color one, down here. Oh. Color two, up here. So I guess today we'll be doing the same thing we did yesterday, all over again. It'll be like deja vu, like yesterday deja vu. Yeah. <laughs> and this, not, this was not my idea, even though I was the one that was the most devastated by the color of our cabinet back here. It is Mike's idea to completely disassemble it, take it apart, and use the pieces to trace onto a whole new piece of plywood and start all over again and rebuild this cabinet and stain it the same color as everything else in this room has already been stained. So I guess we have our work cut out for us. Okay, here we go. God, I forgot about how bad this thing stinks. <laughs> it's so weird. So weird. It is. The stinky drug.
but all this is waste wood. I'm just like hesitant to just grab it and start breaking pieces off of it, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, it's terrible to watch. <laughs> it hurts me a little bit too. I, I'm trying to like reconcile with this. See how fast it came apart though? Yeah, I sure did. We have enough to make another one, so. Ta da! You're right. I mean, we have to do all the work all over again, but it's how easy. Yeah, it's really not like this horrible thing. An attempt to recreate angles that I inadvertently created uh, when I was making it. This is the right color. to this shelf before after yeah. before after gigantic oh my gosh this already looks so much better mm -hmm. look at how good that looks super nice god that looks so good way better than the last time <sighs> always have that little fear <gasps> Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> oh, man, when a plan comes together, it's coming together so much better than last time! <laughs> it's so good! It does. Now I can look at this even with a trim. We don't even have to trim the corners now if we don't want to. No, we don't need to. And, and I can look at this and go, we did it right. We did this nice. You did this nice. It's so cool that we don't have to stain and poly this in place now. I know. It's been so cool that we're done with that. We definitely didn't learn our lesson about staying the first time with our stairwell, for those of you who remember. We had to go through it again to get it right. But man, when it's right, it's right. And this looks great. Okay. It looks beautiful. It sure does. I'm really happy with it. Yeah. Thanks for all the extra work you're going through. That's love. It was right all me. There. It wasn't her. I said, we got to redo it. She was sad. There were tears. She was crying. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I can't leave her with that. But you 
admitted that you didn't really like the dark either. It was it the dark in the room up. Yeah, I made it, it really look dark in here, and this brightens it up a lot. Well, now it just right. looks more lighter and more airy in here. It looks how it was supposed to look. And it matches the other furniture. Like, yeah. Go. The dismembering of the cabinet doors. Yes. Dismembering. <laughs> Disassembling. <God. laughs> it did come apart. Hooray! Okay, let's go cut some more of this. Why's everything cut that nice? Oh, look, it's Pete and repeat. The guillotine. It looks pretty though. It sure does. God, that came together so quickly. Since you had so much practice doing it yesterday, two days in a row. <laughs> so much. I think it's pretty safe to say that we are 100% satisfied with this project. Finally!